Matin Vagucht. Good morning to you. Falchje, Nigan Lesson Show. Welcome to this lesson. Today we're going to take a look at the word summer. So in this part we're going to focus on the word itself, summer, and different ways of using it. The next part will be about the months of summer, and we'll weave it all together at the end of that part. Kleva. All right, let's jump right in here. It's a wonderful summer's day here. Oh, hai, hai, che. Hai, che. Agas gria nach. Agas bria. Auna main and ju. Mm hmm. Kleva. All right, the summer in Gaelic. The summer. So, our word that we're going to focus on here is ansaurig. The summer. The summer. Ansaurig. Now, this is one of those words where the MH in the middle is kind of a W sound. Saurug. Saurug. Ansaurug. And that ending. <laughs> Ansaurug. Ansaurug. Talking about summer. <clears throat> so, as is up here, Ansaurug means the summer. So, what could we do? Stolium. Stolium, I like. Stolium and saurich. I like the summer. Ha tolium and saurich. Let's put these up here. Stol. Stolum, stolium, depending on your dialect. Stolium and saurich. Mm -hmm. I like summer. Or if you don't, ha tolium. <laughs> there we go. Gleva. <clears throat> An saurig. Ha an saurig aum. Summer is here. Ha an saurig aum. Summer is here. Or ha an saurig. Kind of kicking it up a notch here. Er Chien. Summer is after coming. Summer has come. Summer has come. The summer has come. Han Saurig own the summer is here. And Sauragon. Yeah. Stolium. Remember, I like. I like the summer. Mm hmm. Chatolium. I don't like or I dislike. And Saurag. <clears throat> Gleva. Yeah, so we can plug in and Saurag into a lot of these phrases that we already have. Han Sauragon. Ha and saurig er chien. Summer has come. Mm -hmm. Stolium and saurig. Leva. Okay, so that's one grammatical situation, so to speak. What about in summer? How would we say in summer? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. So we start with an saurig, and then we're going to say astaurig. 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 In the summer. Yep. Astaurig. Now, a little tip. This T sounds more like a D. Astaurig. If it was a T sound, like a very strong T, astaurig, it would be a bit more work for our, for our mouths. Astaurig. But if it's a D, it kind of it, it kind of flows between the words. It's it's smoother. Astaurig. Astaurig. As opposed to astaurig. Astaurig. I'm emphasizing it a bit. <laughs> a lot, actually. Astaurig. Mm, much easier to say astaurig with the D. Astaurig. Okay, a little tip for you. Astaurig. So, astaurig. Can we say, oh, hai che, hai che, astaurig. It's hot in summer. 
ha igrianach astaurig. It's sunny in the summer. Yeah. Um, what could we say? Ha isolier. It's bright. Ha isolier astaurig. Kreva. Ha and solstice <laughs> astaurig. <laughs> there is a Gallic word for solstice. Yeah. <laughs> we can just use solstice for this video. Ha and solstice astaurig. Yeah, Gleva. And this us, maybe you saw my other video about spring months. There was a little tip in there too about this. Us is really kind of uh, ounce. It's ounce that's just been smushed together. Astaurig. Astaurig. Yep. Gleva. Astaurig. Astaurig. Gleva. So we have ansaurig, the summer. Astaurig, astaurig, that D sound, astaurig, in the summer. And there's one more situation, um, grammatical situation that we can use that's quite useful to us here. <clears throat> so what, how do we use summer as an adjective, like a summer's day, summer house, etc.? Let's look at that now. Make a bit of space. Leva. Alrighty, so what do we have? Um, a summer house. Uh, ha, ha, tai, Saudi. This M a bit clearer. There we go. Saudi. Ha, tai, Saudi. Ik mo herlo. For example, ha tai saudi ik mo herlo. Tai, we gotta have at least one picture, right? Wouldn't be one of my videos without a picture. Very stereotypical house. <laughs> ha tai saudi, tai saudi ik mo herlo. My family has a summer house. House of summer. There's an of there, and that means we're dealing with the big, bad, scary, awful, name it if you can, genitive case. <laughs> Tai Saudi. Saudi is of summer. Mm-hmm. Ha tai saudi, a house of summer. That's what we're literally saying. A summer house. Yeah, a summer house. So my family has, remember something is at you if you have it in Gaelic. My family has, I guess this is part of the has, a summer house. Ha tai saudi ik mohiloch. Now this ending is kind of a e. <laughs> That's what I-D-H sounds like, an A-I-D-H. There's E if it ends a word. Yep. ha tai saudi There it is. It's the A-I-D-H. ha tai saudi ik mohiloch. Or ha mi agiri tai saudi I want a summer house. So now we're using summer like an adjective. We're really saying of summer. Okay. Um, what else could we do here? Uh, I like, I like a summer's day, maybe. Stolium. Stolium, stolum. La Saudi. Okay, there's another little change to saurig here, right? Ansaurig, the summer, astaurig, but there's a little i in the end which makes it of summer. Of summer. Stolium la sauri. I like a day of summer. 
or a summer's day. A summer's day. Leva. All right. So what else could we do? Um, um, uh, so what about summer holidays? Surlayan. Surlayan. Saudi. Sur Lion Saudi. Yep. Holiday of summer. Summer's holiday. La Saudi. A summer's day. Sur Lion Saudi. Summer holidays. Or summer's holidays. You could even think of it that way. And all we do here, it's not a huge deal, actually, in these examples. We're just adding the I to the end of here, and it makes that E sound. And that's how we're saying of summer. Yep. One quick thing I would like to point out to you is, see these hyphens here? These are compound words. There's two parts, and they're kind of smushed together. They're joined by a hyphen. And what the hyphen means is that a little bit has been taken out. So instead of saying tai an tauri So, and, and we could say tai an tauri, sure, tai an tauri, yeah, that's, that's pretty traditional, pretty nice, yeah, house of summer, summer house, kind of a longer way to say it, more uh, traditional, certainly. Instead of doing that, actually, a lot of words take out this part, which is the of the part, the, this word still has the I in there to mean of, but we take this out and we put in a hyphen instead. Or we, I guess in this case, we would leave in the hyphen. Yeah. Hey, va. Show it. Tai. Hyphen. <laughs> Saudi. <laughs> tai Saudi. Wink. Just like that. Mm -hmm. That's what happened here. Tai Saudi. The an. Kind of the full form of this of summer. This is the the part, actually. <laughs> of the summer. Just, this went away, it was smushed, and the hyphen took the place of that. Tai Saudi, yeah? La Saudi. Surlayan Saudi. We actually w wouldn't really need the hyphen there. Saudi on its own can act like an adjective too. Yeah, but the full form that we're dealing with here is an Taudi, of the summer. An Taudi, an Taudi. And as I understand it, um, this is a, adding, combining words in this way, add, keeping the hyphen there to combine words, is somewhat modern. Although Gallic words have always done that, historically. Gallic words have always kind of come together and um, condensed over the, well, centuries, really. So to say that this is purely a modern thing isn't quite accurate. But in the sense of having hyphenated words like this, to a degree, it is it is kind of modern. And all we're doing is we're just kind of leaving out this ant at the beginning. In this case, in this case. Sur Lion Saudi. Um, coming back to it, what else could we do? Ooh. Ah, so sometimes you would want to have the full form there. You could just leave it hyphenated like this, but sometimes it, you don't, sometimes you wouldn't. So for example, what else could we do here? Something of summer. What about shicha or emishir? Emishir and tauri. No, shicha and tauri. The weather of summer. Summer weather. Uh huh. Leva. Stolium. Shicha and tauri. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> if, if you really like summer weather, oh, stolium shich and taudi. If you don't, ugh, chatolium, <laughs> chatolium shich and taudi. Chatol, chatol, it's too hot. Rohe, <laughs> hayu, rohe, oh, it's too hot, too hot, ugh, rohe. Emeshir, shicha, just using them interchangeably, different regional forms. Emeshir and taudi, shicha and taudi. There we go, just like that. Gleva, weather of the summer. So summer weather. What about summer heat? We're getting a bit more specific here. If you like the heat, maybe you like this next phrase. If you don't, if you're built for winter like me, it's kind of difficult sometimes. Chis, chis and daudi. Chis and daudi. What do we got? This is the heat of the summer. Summer heat. Chis. Chis and daudi. Heat of the summer. Chis and daudi. Yeah. Heat of the summer. It sounds poetic, doesn't it? Oh, I love heat of the summer. The heat of the summer. Yeah. Sounds really nice. Gaelic naturally does that. Gaelic has so much po poetry in its nature. You know, it's such a beautiful, in my eyes, a beautiful language. It expresses things so wonderfully that once we kind of get to grips with how odd the grammar can be sometimes, we can start to appreciate a lot more of the little poetic kind of turns of phrase within it. The beauty that is just ever present in Gaelic. Mm -hmm. Chis and Daudi, heat of the summer. Oh, stolium, <laughs> stolium, chis and Daudi. I like the heat of the summer. I like how hot summer is. Yeah. Chatolium chis and taudi. I don't like summer's heat. I don't like the heat of summer. I don't like how hot it is. Yeah, yeah. Gleva. So we're giving you some more options for expression, including some quite poetic ones. When we use, you know, the big, bad, scary genitive, it oftentimes ends up being quite poetic. Yeah. Gleva. What else could we do? Mm -hmm. That feels pretty good here. We've got all sorts of different examples. Ansaurig, which is the summer. Mm -hmm. In summer, astaurig, astaurig. And then things that are of the summer or connected to the summer, related to the summer. Chis and daudi, emeshir and daudi, you know, shicha and daudi, summer weather. Tai Saudi, summer house. La Saudi, a summer's day. Sulayan uh, Saudi, summer holidays. We can use this word Saudi, uh, excuse me, Saurig, in a lot of different ways. Yeah. And this, using these phrases and hopefully watching the video, you know, a couple times, as many times as useful to you, to really let it sink in, will help you express yourself more accurately when talking about summer. The summer. Gleva. Well, thank you so much for joining me. In the next part, we're going to look at the months of summer. And I got a little treat for you as well. Okay, thanks for joining me. Nice to see you. See you in part two. Chitty, chitty, chitty.